Monday cooking segment brought to you by Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, powered by Electrolux. We are back in the kitchen. Of course, some of the best memories ever are made in the kitchen as families cook together, passing down recipes and a lot of love through the generations. Pacific Northwest food writer and travel consultant, Auntie Mochimino, captured that goodness in his book, book Book. I think I've, got, I've, I've gotten an accent. Food you'll love to make love to. Ah, oh, those Italians. And he's here with one of his grandmother's favorite desserts. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. How are you? Very well, Margaret. So we are making biscotti, but explain to me what that means. We're used to kind of the really hard biscotti that we right. dump no, in no. coffee. This is uh, the basic recipe that uh, we call biscotti uh, because it's simply cookies, okay, in Italian. And this is just a very simple uh, recipe that is made mostly to dunk the biscotti in the latte in the morning, mm -hmm. your coffee, mm -hmm. and it's great. Kids absolutely love it. And so, so it's do a, adults. baked only once, and it takes really half an hour to make them. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, well, let's learn. What yeah, do we do? Actually, you can help me with it. I would be happy so if to. If you don't mind zesting one lemon into the, directly into the flour. That. And I'll go and start with some sugar. Okay. As the we should. The quantities, I'm halving them from what I have on the website for you. And then I'm going to use two eggs instead of four. So your regular recipe would produce how many cookies? Um, hmm, maybe about two, three to four trays of okay. cookies. Yeah. So you so just if you want to um, do just mix. a little version for for breakfast, yeah, just you just correct. cut it down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, okay. even after a recipe, it will last you several days. So. And who I, doesn't like cookies for breakfast? Seriously, kids will go one after the other. The <laughs> beautiful thing is they're very light and they're not very sugary. So, so once we have uh, the eggs beaten up with the sugar, mm -hmm. I pour actually olive oil. The recipe can also be really. You can use butter instead of olive oil, but because in southern Italy, especially in Puglia, we have lots of olive trees, we use olive oil. So I'll dump the olive oil directly into the wow. flour, and what you want me to do is use the tip of your fingers mm -hmm. and incorporate all of that olive oil into the flour nicely. To okay? so make a little puddle to in make the middle a, yes, and then get exactly. in there. So of course you're going to get all, you know, the hands are going to be so... I like that. That's how you get yeah, love with your exit. food, with your exactly. fingers. Exactly. That's uh, how passion is uh, transferred into food. <laughs> Absolutely. So we've got that So salt. then when we have that going on, and you that can clean up so your fingers good. already. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And then you join the eggs in there. Okay. okay. I want to see how you do yeah. this. And then you keep on incorporating this time to avoid being very messy. I'm going to use a fork and just keep on. It's a very forgiving uh, dough where you want to have a little bit of uh, flour to the side. So mm -hmm. just in case it's too runny, you add a little more flour until the consistency is right and it kind of peels off from your hands, okay? And you want it basically the way any cookie dough looks, yes, right? Yes, that kind of consistency. very much, and I'll show you after. Now, a secret ingredient is the ammonia powder, which is making for baking ammonia. This is not the bad ammonia. Okay. <laughs> you put a little bit in here, okay, just like a teaspoon, and then you put some warm milk in there, and you warm add milk? it warm milk, okay? okay? And what you does that add do? It, it will make it foam. And then you dissolve, of course, the ammonia, and it does release that kind of smell. But then when you bake it, it's all gone. You don't even smell it anymore. And it makes uh, cookies very fluffy and airy inside. Interesting. Full air. So yeah. that's how we get them to be yeah. so soft. And then so you soft. put that in. Again, you probably have a little more flour to the side because this is running a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you incorporate that, okay? And then we just keep and going. Then, yeah, you now, keep this on is going. something you learn from your grandmother, but in the book yes. you have things from your aunt, from your mom, yes, from everybody. This, the book is meant to really capture all the family recipes from my grandma, my aunt, my mom, and also chefs that I cook with anytime I travel to Italy. We always hang out with people that are just either a chef at a restaurant or just a regular cook at home. And, and they you can love learn to cook. something from everybody. Everybody. Yes. And oh, then there you are. This is we how, see in the pictures yes, right here. Yes, that's actually my mom and uh, um, a client and my dad just overseeing exactly what we're oh, doing today in the countryside. Right. Well, so come I'm back gonna, to us. Let's see how this dough yeah, is working I'm going to move things to the side just to show you what the dough now looks like. Mm -hmm. And then what I do is on the surface of the table uh, or on the board like you have, you assemble some of the pasta. Again, it's very forgiving. And all you have to do is just create your shape, okay? And then once you have a biscotti, uh, the shape you like, and you can use uh, anything that you like to make shapes with, round, flowery, you pass them onto the sugar, you press down, 
and you place them onto the baking Did sheet. Did you do both sides? I didn't No, see. I only get to one side with uh, the sugar. Okay. So that, and then you flip it so that the sugar is looking up. Okay? Got it. So sugar again, press down and flip it over onto the baking dish. And how long do these guys cook? Now, this is a very easy because once you're done with the sheet, you pop it into the oven at 385 for about 18 minutes. You watch it so that they broil just slightly to get some color on mm -hmm. the top. And you continue to work on the next uh, uh, baking sheet, right. if you will, until you're done. So, and the beautiful thing, as I said, is like perfect to be dunking into a coffee and eating them. And you'll see one after the other, one after the other. A bowl like that can easily go in a couple of days. This will go in a few minutes here yes. as, as we stop this <laughs> segment and the crew has at it. So your travels, <laughs> Heidi's laughing because she knows I'm right. Uh, your travels incorporate learning to cook, people yeah. loving Italy. Tell me a bit about what you do with so that. So my travel is meant to be the most authentic and lifestyle driven. Uh, when you join for a week or two, we'll cook with my mom, with my best friends. Oh we'll go to the countryside and bake bread and make a focaccia or biscotti. Wherever we go, we hang out with someone who's uh, living is, for instance, uh, uh, 80 cows and making just one type of cheese, uh, primo sale, and then we'll sit around the farm in a beautiful long table with the family and oh enjoying a homemade meal, homemade meal. So we just look this up is. on the website and figure out yeah, what trips. Yeah, go on the website, contact right me us. if you would like to do, have more information or brainstorm about an experiential trip to Italy. I'd be happy to put something together for That's you. That's amazing, and the book is beautiful as well. Thank and you. you brought a couple of other dishes to yes. kind of give us an example of the the simple, yep. beautiful, delicious. Things this that is you incredibly offer. simple, and I'll tell you what. This is a summer dish that is very popular. It's very simple, very ripe watermelon cubed, and then you do a dusting of cinnamon on, on the base of the cinnamon. dish. Cinnamon, okay. cinnamon powder. Then you put the cube of melon. You take a fresh leaf of mint, put it on the top, and then on top of it, you put either a blackberry or a blueberry. And a skewer, and then you dust a little sugar, and you, as you can see, I just oh added gosh. a little bit of edible flowers to make it pop. Visual is important. Your digestion starts with the eyes. Oh my goodness, that's so, and that <laughs> just makes life so much more fun when you, when yeah. your food is beautiful. Which Here dish is this? Very can I have a bite of this? Absolutely, you, you can, it? and it's really fresh it. and wonderful. Mm. Yeah, so this dish instead is uh, uh, yellow and uh, red beets, which are actually uh, cooked either in the oven or, or on the grill, uh, sliced. The base is a chutney of mango reduced in a sauce made of uh, fresh orange juice and whiskey and honey. Yes. <laughs> and then you add some fresh, uh, fresh pistachio, and uh, to contrast the sweetness, you make a, a sauce that it's uh, a lime-based uh, with a roasted jalapeno pepper, so you have a little bit of it, heat, and then a little bit of acidity to balance the dish. And this is to die for. It's like That's food amazing. to make love to, for real. <laughs> real. <laughs> Thank you so much. And by the way, the watermelon is delicious. You get mm -hmm. that nice um, cinnamon taste. Yeah. And then when you bite into the mint, yeah. it is yeah. a party. Yeah, in your mouth. In your mouth. Um, thank you so much. Antonio shared his you. biscotti recipe so that we can all have a taste of the good life or La Dolce Vita. You'll find it on our website and you can check a link to Antimo's travels to Italy. That's yeah. got to be heaven on earth. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, wherever you. your summer travels take you, we've got you covered, literally. We're going to talk about what to wear on vacation after this quick break.